Good evening and welcome to the Wildcats Den here at Hazen Union High School as your Hazen Wildcat boys hosting the Stowe Raiders tonight. I think we're going to try that opening tip one more time. It's all with call for HCTV channel 1080 on your cable dial streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera still with control of the tip. Try and get myself in order up here. Spirited crowd here tonight to see their boys. Sporting a current record of 2-0, courtesy of some wins over uh, Randolph and Lamoille in the Dave Morse Classic. There's Baker up off the, the butcher of the Baker, the two-point maker. Puts Hazen on the board, two-zip. Still will try to counter. Starting tonight, the Mitchard boys three. First time ever that we can remember. Three brothers starting a varsity game here at Hazen High School. Cool stuff. Danny on camera. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.org, uh, uh, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. I think we've got it all in now. Hazen, working the ball inside. Referee Dennis McLaughlin. Calls the foul on TJ Guffey. Tyler, off the glass, Tyler Rebard. Try and match up some names here, Dylan Sauter. And this is Gray Heidelberger, gives it to Chase Brown. Chase Brown, a sophomore. McClarney inside. Turnover. Baker. Over to Mitchid, to Mitchid. I'm gonna have fun with this. To inside to Mitchin. <laughs> Brown on the far side, Lincoln on him. Stop short, gets it to McClarney. McClarney throws up a shot, doesn't go. Rebound, Hazen. Here's Baker. Just a little outside. These two teams have played 115 games overall, dating back to 1912. Hazen with an 87-28 overall record against them, 44 and eight at home, 38 and 18 in Stowe. So in basketball, we have owned Stowe. I believe that's the moving screen call that uh, Elliot Kimball explained to me a couple years ago. 5.45, let's go in the first. Cats up for zip. Pass over. Baker. Out to Morgan, who swings it to Gabe. Back to Morgan inside. Foul called on Dylan Sauter. Be Gabe Mitchett on the inbounds. Tyler up, doesn't drop. Tyler rebound, gets fouled. Tyler go to the line, shooting two. Tyler at the line. Makes his first one. Second shot short, rebound. And up, that was Gabe trying to get it up. Gabe still giving Chase. Chase Brown comes up with the go. Defense. 
Stowe, nowhere to go. Heidelberger puts up a shot out of bounds. And Morgan Mitchell checks out, in goes Xavier Hill. Kind of fun intro on all those midgets for the pregame, so that was a good time. The trifecta of midgets. Tyler doesn't go, rebound Heidelberger. Stolen by Tyler up off the glass. Five points for the senior. 4.22 left to go here in the first. Cats up 7-zip. Can't handle that one. Oh, goes shot up. Doesn't drop again. X up ahead to the Prez. Prez saves it back to Tyler. And he gets wrapped up with uh, TJ Guffey. And Brendan Moody comes in. And Gabe Mitchell comes out. Jackson Lund getting ready to go in. Wow, Tyler skied for that one. Heidelberger rebound. Gets it over to Brown. Pitch to McClarney. Here's Heidelberger back to Brown. Brown puts up a shot short. Goes through. Guppy comes out, and it was uh, Lund going in for Stowe. 345 left to go. Moody puts up a three, doesn't go. Rebound, Mitchin. Going back up, got fouled. Gabe Mitchell at the line now, shooting two. Good on his first one. Second one short. Tyler, turn around. Can't get it to go. Turnover still with it. Brown. Heidelberger. Brown. Brown puts up a shot, doesn't go. Did not see who made that hoop. I was looking, but I did not see who made it. I'm going to have to check with Karen afterwards. Anyway, makes a 10 zip. Turnover. X off the glass, doesn't go. Rebound, rebound. And Coach Richard Tierney wants a timeout. The talking is over. The Cats are currently pitching a shutout here at the Den with 2.40 left to go in the first quarter. Hazen leads 12-zip over the Stowe Raiders. Once again, Hazen comes in with a record of 2-0. and oh. Beat, uh, they beat Randolph in the opening game of the Dave Morris Classic and then just really ran right over uh, Lamoille in the championship game. We have had wall-to-wall -wall basketball, so if I seem a little punchy tonight, <laughs> uh, we, we played a lot of ball up here in the last week and a half. Uh, with more to come, we've got two more games this week. Uh, the girls will be hosting for Jens tomorrow. They've got their record up to 2-1. and one. 
Uh, they lost to Enosburg, then they beat uh, Danville, and they beat Oxbow. Uh, they were playing for Jens. Oh, and they beat Richford. They're three to one. Sorry, they're three to one. They beat Richford last night. I forgot about that. Um, and then the boys will be hosting Oxbow here on Thursday, and then we'll take a little bit of a Christmas break. Uh, got another special night coming up December 30th when the boys host PA. Going to be Hardwick Academy night. Uh, Going to be wearing purple that night because that was the color of the team back then when uh, they were at Hardwick Academy. So should be a fun night, huge night up here. The other night for the Dave Moore uh, tournament with the unfurling of the Division Three Championship banner from last year. Brown still can't sink a shot. Raiders trying. Nothing there for the Stowe Raiders. Moody underneath. Brendan Moody, the sophomore. 14 Zepp Hazen. The Prez trying to cut in front of Keenan McClarney. Almost stole that one. It's Lund. Stolen that one, intercepted. Baker passes back, wanted to get it to the X-Man, but broken up nicely by Jackson Lund, senior, for the Raiders. And the Raiders going to, I thought that was a turnover. I'm going to set it up, try it again. Cats press. Raiders break the press nicely underneath. And hey, how about that? That is uh, Maddox Gregory who puts the hoop in and Coach Hill wants a timeout, talk things over as the Raiders put themselves on the board with 147 left to go here in the first. Score 14-2. Aaron quick to call the tee on that one. Today is uh, Dot Your Eyes Day, so make sure you dot your eyes if you're doing any of that. It's also Games Day, and we've got a game going on, so that's good. Maybe if you want to play a game you know, while you're watching or listening to this, that's cool. And it's also Go Caroling Day, so maybe after the game we'll all go out caroling. Although the other night they sang uh, a carol to, uh, who did they sing a carol to? Uh, it was when the boys were playing Lamoille. They They wished them a merry bus ride. I thought that was original and pretty darn good. X. That one just a tad short. Rivard and the Prez underneath there. Rivard once again trying to get up stripped away by Heidelberger. Comes up running, McClarney. And we're going to have a foul called. Foul called on Baker. Ball underneath. 123 left to go in the first. That ball stolen away. Brendan Moody comes up with it. Wanted a bounce pass into uh, Tyler. Brown with the Perez on him. Heidelberger inside, throws up a shot, doesn't go. Rebound, Rivard. X carry. Referee Michael Lozier with the call. Broken up by Baker on the inbounds. Back, Rebard in, off the glass, blocked. You don't see that happen very often, but uh, Jackson Lund with a block on Tyler. Baker breaking up a pass. Ball still ping-ponging around. Here's Brown. Chip shot off the glass, doesn't go. Brown chases, finds his own rebound. He's battling in there. X comes up. 
Drops it over. Rivard off the glass, doesn't go. Draw, uh, they're going to call Tyler on the charge as it looked like McClarney had established position inside. 28 seconds left to go here in the first. Cats up 14-2. Gabe Mitchell checks back in. And Ryan Morrison, Ryan the Little Lion. Here's Heidelberger with 25 seconds. Brown. Send it over to Heidelberger. Broken up. No. Nope. And yeah, Gabe Mitchell's going to come up with it. Going to try and take it to the hoop, and he does. Gabe Mitchell. Brown throws up a shot, doesn't go, and that's that'll take care of the first one. The Cats up 16-2, pretty much uh, been in control the entire first quarter there. Uh, Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera tonight. Our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522, We Sport Hazen Athletics, and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, uh, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Applications now open for any GMTCC programs. They include uh, culinary arts, allied health, uh, computer networking technology, exploratory pre-technology, tons of programs. My daughter Lydia goes down there. She loves it. Loves it. She's going for uh, business administration, which they offer as well. So we are at the Den once again, which has been my home away from home for the last two weeks. But it's all good. It's all been fun. Um, and once again, two more games coming up this week. Uh, the girls will be hosting Virgins tomorrow night, and the boys will be hosting Oxbow. Then we've got a couple of games next week after Christmas, including the, that, that one against PA on the 30th where we're going to have Hardwick Academy night. So you want to mark your calendar for that one. Come up and support our teams. Girls played a great game last night against Richford, uh, once again, to propel their record to 3-1. and one. X, Avier Hill gets it over to Jaden Baker. Mitch it back to Hill. Underneath, Ryan feeds it into Lincoln. Shot in the foul for the Prez. Dylan Sauter checks back in for the Raiders, and Maddox Gregory comes out with two points. Lincoln looking to complete the three-pointer the old-fashioned way here. And call for a violation by Michael Lozier. And this is Carter McDonald. Bring the ball up, gets it over to Brown, back into McDonald. Underneath. Blocked by Mitchum. They're going to call him for a foul over the back, I believe, as Dylan Sauter was going up. Sauter will go to the line, shooting two. Actually, called that foul on Morrison. I thought it was Lincoln, but no, it was Ryan. First shot, good for Sauter. Sully LaFlemme checks in. Jaden Baker out. Second shot off. Rebound, Xavier. Gabe. Over here, Sully LaFlemme gets it back over to Gabe. Over to the X-Man. X-Man looking inside. Nothing there. Here's Morrison back out. Cats swing it around once again. Lincoln wants to get it over to Cade. And they're going to call Ryan the Little Lion for the three-second call. Here's McDonald's. Gabe fighting it out over there, and they got bodies on the floor. We're going to have a foul called. Foul's called on Jackson Lund. 
Moody checks back in. And Gabe comes out. X-Man, good on his first one. Short on the second rebound, Morrison. Moody takes a long three, nothing but air, but there to get the rebound is Sully LaFlem back into the press. Lincoln Mitchell makes it a 21-3 lead for the Cats. 6.45 left to go in the first half. Been all Cats all the time here tonight. McDonald back to Lund. Lund looks at Brockhausen. Long shot, McDonald doesn't go rebound. Still trying, and I believe that was Brockhausen who put the shot down for the Raiders. 21-5, your score. 6-10 left to go in the first half. Block drive right back out. Long three rolls in for the X-Man. 24-5. Dagger. Shot put up off, rebound, Moody. Fiddles and diddles his way up through. I believe that was Lincoln. Mitchell, I was looking back, there was a Stowe player had fallen into the uh, student section over there on the other side. I was looking at him, I think it was Lincoln that got that hoop. 25-5. 5.25 left to go here in the first half. on this 20th of December, 2022. Foul called on Sully LaFlem. Gabe Mitchett checking in, and Lincoln Mitchett will come out, so we'll exchange a Mitchett for a Mitchett. So, looking to make something happen here. Trying to get it to Brockhausen. Still retain possession. Brockhausen. No, that's uh, Sauter. Sorry, Sauter. Knocked down by Gabe Mitchell. Foul called on uh, 30, to, is it 23? Foul called on Dylan Sauter. And catcher in a bonus, so they'll be shooting one and ones. One more, they'll be shooting two. Gabe Mitchell to the line. Three points for the junior. In and out, rebound by Brockhausen. That is Brockhausen now with the ball. Taking away Morrison, they're gonna have a tie, we're gonna have a jump ball. Possession arrow gives the ball to the Raiders. Brockhausen checks out. Heidelberger back in. Brown. Morrison on him. Over to Heidelberger. Heidelberger puts up a three off the rim. Cats. 
on the attack once more, leading 25-5 with 4.25 left to go here in the first. Stowe, nice defensive play right there. McDonald with Sully on him, loses his dribble, picks it back up, gets to the Heidelberger. Over here to Brown. Far side here, McClarney tries to work it against Gabe. I believe he stepped out of bounds. Wanted a push call. X-Man. That shot is off, but rebound. Uh, gonna go to Stowe. Heidelberger, Moody on him. Nice pass to Lund, back to Heidelberger. Wanted to drop it inside the Lund. X-Man says, I'll take that. Beautiful pass inside to Moody. Those bird-like passes that the X-Man can make. Heidelberger. Foul called on Moody. And uh, Stone now in the bonus. They'll shoot one and once. So both teams in a bonus. Cats uh, can be in the double bonus on so the next foul. 308 left to go in the first half. Morrison out, Baker in. And this is Heidelberger at the line. Good on his first one. Heidelberger, a freshman for the Raiders. Short on the second one. Fighting for it was Lund. Cats come up. X. Once again, uh, Gabe couldn't, I guess, tr still trying. Couldn't quite convert, but just another one of those. I mean, this, this kid is on another level when it comes to passing. It just, I'll tell you, I grew up with Larry Bird. And X does a great Larry Bird impersonation. Baker, nice hesitation. Jaden Baker, four points now, makes it 29-6. Brown, is he going to get the shot? Going to call the foul before the shot, but Brown will still go to the line. first free throw. That's a one and one. Line him up one more time. 2.30 left to go in the first half. Cats up 29-7. Brown good on his second free throw as well. Gives the sophomore two points. Sully drop inside. X-Man. Wanted to get it to Gabe. Gabe does get it. X. Still defense is tough. But uh, getting a little aggressive. A little frustration. Foul called on Keenan McClarney. And double bonus time for the Cats, so X-Man will be shooting two. Drops. Five points for the junior. Exchanging a Mitchell for a Mitchell once again. Gabe comes out and Lincoln goes in. Xavier Hill. Second shot doesn't go. Battling underneath. 
Stowe comes up with it. Here's McClarney. Puts up a shot. Uh, I think the press might have got a hand on that one. Comes Xavier up ahead to Lincoln. Lincoln loses the handle. Comes Brown. That shot does not fall. Rebound Moody. Up ahead. Morgan Mitchell. Showtime here at the den. Brown in and out. Rebound Moody. The Prez. Shot and the foul. Eight points for Lincoln Mitchell. 32 8 your score. 121 left to go in the first. Foul called on Chase Brown, his third. 121 left to go in the first half. Lincoln rattles it in. I mean, again, I missed one hoop earlier in the game. I'm going to have to, that we scored. So my scoring totals I know are not correct. Stolen by Hazen. Broken up nicely by Brown, but back to Mitchell. Sully. Back to Morgan. Over to Moody. Takes a three. That one is off the rim. Rebound. Jackson Lund. 53 seconds left to go in the first half. Cats up 35 8. Loses it off his foot. Sully Laflemme going to go coast to coast. No, passes off to Mitchell. Mitchell's shot and the foul. The Prez working inside tonight. Chance to make the three-point play once again. And he does. 12 points for Lincoln Mitchell. 39.7 left to go in the first half. Cats in command, as they have been pretty much from the get-go tonight. 38 to 8. Heidelberger. Pass inside. Back out. I'll tell you, this Heidelberg is a freshman. He's an exciting player to watch. Handles the ball well, not afraid to shoot. Passes extremely well. Brown doesn't get that show, shot to fall. X-Man comes up. 20 seconds, plenty of time. Brown trying to pick X-Man's pocket. He's going to get called. That's going to be his fourth. Hand checker or whatever they call it nowadays. Hold, they're going to call it. His fourth foul with 17.6 left to go here in the first half, so... Wonder how much Chase Brown will see come the second half with four fouls. X-Man at the line. Shooting two. <laughs> Go one more. Sinks the second one as well. Seven points for Xavier Hill. 40 to 8 lead, 13 seconds. Heidelberger with the ball for Stowe. Moody on him. Pass over here in the corner. Guffey underneath. Jerseys all around. White jerseys all around him. No place to go. What are we going to get? Going to get a foul on Sully Laflemme, his second, and that will send Guffey to the line, shooting two or one. Is it one or one? I think one more foul, then they get. Shot up, doesn't go. Yeah, that was the front end of the one and one Mitchell just dings it up as there was very little time left on the clock. And it's your, it's been all hazing all the way in this game, 40-8 to eight over the Stowe Raiders. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera, our sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lsnd.org. Jumpstart your future. We'll be back in time for the start of the second half.
Second half action about to get underway here at the Wildcat Den here at Hayes Union High School in Harding, Vermont. Is your Hazen Union Wildcat boys hosting the Stowe Raiders tonight. Hazen up by a score of 40 to 8. I got my point totals all correct. I went down and saw Karen at the uh, scoring table. It is Brendan Moody with 4, Jaden Baker with 4, Xavier Hill with 10, Tyler Rivard with 7, Morgan Mitchett with 2, Gabe Mitchett with 3, and Lincoln Mitchett with 10 officially for the Hazen Union Wildcats. For the still Raiders, Chase Brown with two, Gray Heidelberger with two, Maddox Gregory with two, Will Brockhausen with two, and Dylan Sauter with one. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, Channel 1080 on the cable. They're all sharing worldwide on archive at www.hctv.us. Moody takes a three, makes a three. And I heard a whistle. What's going to happen? Are they going to count the shot? They're going to call the Prez. Is the hoop good? The hoop was good. Okay, because the foul was away from the ball. So Moody makes a three. Makes it 43-8. The foul called on the Prez. And the Prez now with 13. I mean, uh, the foul called on the Prez. And uh, Moody now with seven. Sorry. Prez with two fouls. Hill. Shot. Doesn't go. Rebound. Rebound back in. Trying to get it up off the glass. Tyler grabs again. So strong. Tyler Rivard shot in a foul. Um, let's see. What did I start to say? Lance Hall with the call for HCTV Channel 1080, www.hctv.us. Standing on camera. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports. 472-5522. We support Hayes Athletics and Green Mountain, Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, GMTCC, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Tyler, first shot doesn't go. And uh, it was uh, Sauter the rebound. Here's Gray Heidelberger. Sauter wasn't quite ready for that one. We're going to have some sort of foul called here. I'm not sure what. The Prez picks up two quick ones here. The start of the third. We're a little over 30 seconds in. Prez with a couple of quick fouls. McClarney. Shot doesn't go. Rivard gets tied up with McClarney. McClarney will inbounds it. So set it up, try again. Broken up by Baker. So set it up again. So, Reedus. I don't really know where he was going with that pass, but it didn't work. It wasn't a green jersey in sight. A lot of white. Lincoln on the inbounds. X brings the ball up. Pass up ahead. Tyler Rivard. Cats have been getting out front on offense. We've seen that happen a number of times in the first half. And doing it again here in the second. Getting some easy hoops. 47-6. Heidelberger puts up shot, doesn't go. Rebound, Rivard up ahead. The Prez. And foul. Dylan Sauter. I'm most surprised. I think they could have, could have, I don't know. Could they have maybe might have called a flagrant on that? I don't know. I think he kind of really grabbed him, but referee right there. Short is the Prez. Mitchett on a second shot. Short as well. Rebound, Rebard. 
turnaround. There's like three jerseys right there. Foul ends up being called on Keenan McClarney, his second, as the Raiders trying the surround and drown approach to keeping Tyler from getting up on the glass. Tyler, turn, bunch of jerseys on him, rebound, Stowe. Guffey with the rebound. And we've got a Stowe player down. as a foul was called on Tyler. I can't see a number in here. Things starting to get just a tiny, tiny bit chippy in here tonight. And that is Kina McClarney who comes up limping and in pain. I don't know if he got stepped on or turned an ankle or what, but he is in a lot of pain. Get me some ice, please, is what he says. Jackson Lund comes in. as McClarney is in a lot of pain. Heidelberger inside. Sauter back out to Heidelberger. Direct in traffic. Zach Lewis in over, back around. Nice ball movement here by the Raiders. Shot off by Sauter. Rebound goes up into the stands. Xavier score 47 8. Moody off on that three short rebound. Heidelberger. Heidelberger wants to try a three. That one's off. Ryan the Little Lion. Morrison's going to check in. Lincoln Mitchell out. Nice no-look pass. Talk about Larry Bird passes. Guffey never saw that one coming. X-Man. Over to Baker. Inside, Ryan, the little lion. X-Man inside. Ryan, the little lion, comes back out. Baker inside. Morrison wanted to get it to Tyler. Five twenty-two left to go here in the third. Cats up forty-seven to eight. Rivard all alone. Three jerseys right there with him, and they're going to call Tyler on a travel. Says referee Michael Lozier. Guffey that missed that pass. So, so Brett Moody and uh, Heidelberger going mano a mano back here. Moody the sophomore, Heidelberger the freshman. Pass over, Sauter tries to get it up there. Morrison right there gets it to X. Tyler. Rivard, six points in the second half, 13 total, makes it 49-8. 
Tried to spin. Tried to make something happen in there with Scuffy. Nothing doing, nothing going. And Gavin Stratton checks in for the Cats. There's Baker. Over to Moody. Stratton. Pass inside, Rivard. Tyler gets it out, Jaden. Wanted to pass back in, pass stolen away though. By Guffey. Foul called on. Baker, his third. Lund on the inbounds right in front of us here. Ball goes across courts. Sauter. That foul called on Moody. 347 left to go to third. Cats up 49-8. Ball in. It was, whatever happened, it was effective. Lund ended up with the ball, shot in off the glass, and hey, the Raiders are now in double figures. Your score, 49-10. Revert in there, and there's uh, Morrison. Ryan the Little Lion gets his first points of the game. Nice reverse under there. Gives the junior two points. 51-10. Sally Laflemme comes in, Brendan Moody out. Lund on the inbounds, gets it to Guffey, over here to Heidelberger. Pass back inside, Sauter. Morrison right there on him, wants to put up a shot, nowhere to go. Heidelberger with Laflemme on him. Stolen away. Tyler tries to dunk again. He doesn't make it. Two games in a row now. We've seen Tyler attempt to dump, dunk. Just can't quite get it there. Tyler doesn't go. Rebound. Morrison. Ryan Morrison now with four points. 53 to 10. Heidelberger throws a shot up, doesn't go. We got a whistle. I guess they're calling it off the top of the backboard. So. Oh, let's see. It was on this day in uh, 1946, It's a Wonderful Life premiered in New York City, perennial holiday fave. And you know, I think I've only watched that entire movie once in my life. Uh, it was a great flick, I love Jimmy Stewart. But I think I've only watched it once. Turn around, Sauter. Rattles in, three points now for the senior. Stratton inside, Rebard. Double pump, Tyler Rebard. Eight points in the second half, 15 overall. Unofficial. Unofficial. Brown back in, doesn't handle that pass. Let's see, also, uh, oh, on this day in 1957, Elvis was drafted into the Army. Can you imagine nowadays, a singer, you know, of course, he was just up and coming then, you know, I mean, he had some hits and he was on his way to certainly becoming a star. 
Foul called on Tyler for the charge, his fourth. But uh, even then, you know, someone of his stature going, you know, being drafted into the Army and going, he served, you know, went overseas. Did his hitch and came home and uh, became an even bigger star. The king of rock and roll. Liam Jerkowitz in, and that is Tyler Rivard coming out. He's got uh, 15 points. I don't know if we'll see Tyler back or not. He's got four fouls, 119, we're up 55-12. Shot. Lund. No call. He'll get called on that one. So Lund, whether he was hit or whether he flopped back here, I don't know. It looked like a little bit of both. Anyway, no foul. Then he gets up here on the other end. And karma. Five-second call. Cats turnover. Lund inbounds. Will Brockhausen. Senior for the Raiders. Over here to Lund. Brown, far side, throws up a shot, short. Rebound, Brockhausen, back out. Gavin Stratton on Brown. Gavin gets it away from him. Pass over. Mitch it inside. Morrison can't get it to go. Bodies on the floor. I don't know what's going to happen here. I think we're going to get a call on Ryan Morrison. His second. 35-7. 35.7 seconds left here in the third. Cats up 55-12. And that was our seventh foul, so the still will be shooting 1-1. One one. So Sauter goes to the line. Shooting the front end of a 1-1. One one. Three points so far for the senior. Off the back of the rim. Rebound, LaFlem and Sauter went up over the top of him. Start with one more foul to give. Sauter going to come out and go scuffy. Drop pass, Morrison up, nope, doesn't go. And Gabe Mitch is going to come down with it. Sully, LaFlem back out, looking inside, Yerkowitz. Nice pass inside to Morrison. Ball tied up, possession arrow, give the ball to the Raiders with 15.8 left to go here in the third. Brockhausen with the ball, six seconds left. Brown, Stratton all over, and Brockhausen throws up a three, doesn't go off the back of the rim. And time will run out in the third. Cats up 55 to 12 over the Stowe Raiders. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial and streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera tonight. Sponsors, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnst.org. Jumpstart your future. Applications now open for all their programs. Um, I'm going to read them all. Allied Health, Automotive Technology, Business Administration, Computer Networking Technology, Construction Technology, Cooperative Education, Creative Media Art and Design, Culinary Arts, Electrical Technology. Wait, wait, there's more. Exploratory Pre-Technology, Forestry and Land Management, Heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, and sustainable agriculture and food systems. I'll be able to find something to do in one of those, eh? Uh, let's see, on this day in 1945, Peter Chris, born. Original drummer for Kiss, of course, the Catman. And I had a fascinating conversation when I was first starting to do my radio show down at Johnson State College, which I no longer do. I do it online now, but with Peter Chris's ex-wife, Lydia, who was there for, you know, obviously before the band even formed, um, had some incredible insights to everything that happened in the early, early days of the band. Uh, really uh, 
really cool time. The American Dream, Dustin Pangarelli in, and then promptly turns the ball over to Chase Brown. Let's see what Brown can do. Brown, nope, can't go. But follow up is Brockhausen there to put it in. It's a 55-14. The American Dream up once again, and he traveled. Hard times for the Dream tonight. So far as it's been in. Also on this day, uh, 1948, Alan Parsons was born. Alan Parsons, of course, engineered uh, in Apple Studios, uh, engineered Abbey Road for the Beatles. He engineered uh, Dark Side of the Moon for Pink Floyd. Turned around Morrison, Ryan the Little Lion. And, of course, he's got his own Alan Parsons project going, which has just been uh, you know, a ton, ton of great albums and hits including that serious song that the Chicago Bulls used for their pregame intros for years out there in Chicago. Came courtesy of Alan Parsons. I'm going to call Stratton on a foul. Hand check. One and one. Send Brockhausen to, uh, no, we're going to send uh, Guffey to the line. And Morgan Mitchell is going to come in, and the American Dream, Dustin Pangarelli, getting a little bit of a head shake from Coach Hill. <laughs> Shot didn't fall. Rebound. Hazen up ahead. Mitchell. Nope. Oh, nice hustle by the Raiders. Hustling back on defense, though, is the Cats. Here's a three-pointer. Yeah, nice three-pointer for Will Brockhausen. Seven points for the senior. Makes it 57-17 with 6.45 left to go in the game. Ryan Morrison inside, looking at Yerkowitz. Taken away by Lund to tie up. Travel. I'm going to call Hazen for the travel. Here's Brown, goes up a three, makes it Chase Brown. Five points, 57-20. Inside, Morrison, turn around off the glass, doesn't drop, rebound Raiders. Three-pointer, nothing but air. Saved back in by Lund, unfortunately to the catch, or unfortunately for us, and I don't know what to call that. Rejection, I guess you could call it. Big thump over there. Castle inbounds. X Man skies up for that one. Ball on the floor. Rolls it over. And it's going to go out of bounds. Nice drive, nothing there. Out of bounds. Cats will take over possession. Yerkowitz is in the Stratton. Gavin Stratton. Xavier drop, dropping in, looking for Yerkowitz. Still inbounds with 5.35 left in the game, trailing 57-20. That shot doesn't go, rebound, Xavier Hill. Moody, Brendan Moody, didn't go. I thought that rolled in. I seriously thought that ball went in the hoop. I'm ready to give him points and it didn't drop, okay. Never take your eye off the ball, I guess. 5.05 left, 57.20. Brockhausen over to Brown. Brockhausen, Moody on him. 
Brockhausen drives. Nice, nice drop pass underneath. TJ Guffey gets his first points of the game, and he'll go to the line to complete the three-pointer. 4.47 left. Still playing tough. Guffey at the line. Off, doesn't drop. Chases, gets his own rebound. Pass over, off the glass. That was Maddox Gregory, sophomore, at 57-24. X-Man draws a foul, goes to the line. You can almost see, though, in this quarter that, you know, the first part of the game, I, I, to me, to my eye, and I'll say this, I'm, this is just in my own opinion, still seem to be playing kind of tight. They were, you know, Pressing a lot. Um, Hill doesn't get it to drop. This quarter, you know, they're playing kind of loose. They're just out there, you know, just, you know. I mean, I'm not saying there's a lack of effort, but they're playing slightly looser than they did in the beginning. And they're scoring some points. You know? Sometimes, you know, that's what you do. You press, you end up making mistakes, mental errors as Xavier Hill shoots and gets his. That's his first points in the second half. Just come out, you play loose, you just go out there, you have a good time, and before you know it, you know, you're scoring some points and getting her done. Turn around, does a drop, a rebound, Hazen, uh, rebound Stowe. Daxon Lund, draws a foul. Foul call on Gavin Stratton, his second. 4.16 left to go in the game. 58-24, your score. Sully LaFlem getting ready to check in for your Hazen Union Wildcats. Lund off the glass. Take it any way you can get it. Three points for Jackson Lund and a 58-25 lead with 4-10 left to go in the game for the Cats. Mitchell over to Mitchell over to Moody. Oh, excuse me, that's Sully. I'm getting my Mitchells and uh, I was, it was like, there were like a lot of Mitchells in there in the beginning of the game. Three of them, first time, once again, first time. Coach Aaron Hill has ever started three brothers on a starting lineup tonight with the Mitchell trifecta of Morgan, Gabe, and Lincoln. Foul called. Foul called on the X-Man, his first. I don't quite know why the cell player was doing push-ups down there, but their uh, cheering section getting a chuckle out of it. Guffey at the line. Off. Gavin Stratton comes back in. Carter McDonald and Zach Lewis for the Raiders. Will Brockhausen comes out with... Uh, Seven points, and Chase Brown comes out with four. Other scorers for uh, the Raiders, uh, Gray Huddleberger with one, Jackson Lund with three, Maddox Gregor with four, Guffey with two, Brockhausen with seven, Sauter with three. For Hazen, unofficially, it is Brendan Moody with seven, uh, Jaden Baker with four, Sully LaFlemme with 11, Tyler Rivard with uh, 15, Morgan Mitchell with two, Gabe Mitchell with three. Ryan Morrison with six. And ten for the Prez. Lincoln Mitchell, all unofficial. A 
call Lincoln on a, whether it was a charge of the movie screen thing or what, I don't know. But Lincoln's got four. Lincoln can't believe it. But uh, 3.16 left to go in the game, 58-25. Let's play. Cats going to be pushing their record to 3-0. and Morgan Mitchell called on a block, but Guffey was really throwing a forearm in there. The, your basic forearm shiver trying to clear him out of the way as well, so I don't know. 3.03 left to go here in the game. Doesn't go. Uh, once again, we'll be, uh, uh, girls will be here tomorrow night against for Jens. Boys will be back Thursday night against Oxbow. We'll do, do some more damage. Shot short, rebound to Prez. They'll push a record to 3-0. I have to ask Aaron what the, how many points they've given up. It hasn't been many. Foul called on Jackson Lund. That's his fourth with 2.52 left to go in the game. The Prez at the line. Sinks his first one. His first points of the second half. Gives him 11. Second shot good as well. Smooth as silk. 60-25. 2.50 left to go. Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera. Look at the sponsors here in a sec. They back in. That's going to go to the Prez. Broken up. Stratton going to be called on a push. And that is his fourth. Jackson Lund back at the line, who's been ice cold from the free throw line. And makes it. I guess he showed me. Actually, this, yeah, fifth, no, 15 is, is uh, Guffey, sorry, Guffey. TJ Guffey, my apologies. And yeah, so much for, so much for me. I don't know what Lund is doing out there. Shining the floor. So, Carter McDonald. Gets it over here to Lund. And that just sounded painful when he went down. Foul called on Sully Laflemme, his third. 210 left, 60 to 27. And this is Jackson Lund at the line. Make sure I have my free throw shooters right. And I have no idea how many he's hit or missed tonight. I know he's hit one. Didn't hit that one. So on this day in 1969, Peter, Paul, and Mary, number one on the charts with Levin on a jet plane. And in 1962, the Osmonds made their debut on the Andy Williams show. Donnie was only five at the time, so he did not make the show. It was past his bedtime, but the other guys did. The Osmond brothers. I can remember having violence arguments with my cousins in my younger days over who was better, the Osmonds or the Partridge family. I was always a David Cassidy guy. And jump ball. But we used to get heated over who was better. Although I'll tell you what, the Osmonds Crazy Horses is one of the great, great 
rock and roll songs of all time. I mean, you think Go Away Little Girl and One Bad Apple, throw on Crazy Horses. I mean, those guys are heavy in that song. And Lund continues to polish the floor here at the Den with his jersey. One thirty-seven left to go to game. Sixty twenty-seven. Short. We have a violation. We have a foul. <sighs> On the miss, so we're gonna shoot two more. With 137 left to go in the game, the Cats up 60-27. Uh, Yerkowitz is gonna go to the line, and TJ Guffey has now fouled out. And I am out of trivia. LaFlem over to Stratton. Stratton short on that three. Jerkowitz, Jerkowitz trying to keep it in. 128. Brockhausen. Not ready for the pass with Zach Lewis. Cats will turn over. Uh, still Raiders will turn over. Cats will get possession. Stratton pass over. Morrison. Foul on. I believe this is going to be on Carter McDonald. 108 left. Both teams in double bonus will be shooting two foul shots for each foul. Which hopefully won't be many with 108 left. Morrison at the line. Short. I think both these teams need to show up at 5 a.m. tomorrow and practice their foul shots. Well, maybe Ryan will. He can come in at 530. Brockhausen. Seen a lot of misses out here on both ends. No tolerance for that. And hey, guess what? We'll get to practice some more. Foul called on Sully LaFlem, his fourth. 52.8. Left to Brockhausen. Yep, 5 a.m., boys. We're practicing free throws. No one leaves until you've made 100 in a row. 150 in a row. Here comes Sully LaFlam with 45 seconds. Let's see how Gavin does from the free throw line. Well, Gavin earn a 5 a.m. or a 5.30 a.m. start time for his foul shot practice. Jackson Lund comes out. Our floor will not have that shine now. Stratton. 5 a.m., Gavin. 5 a.m. Same as your number on your jersey, 5 a.m. They might as well camp out here at the gym. All right, one out of two ain't bad. And now I believe every player has scored. Now, Dustin, the American dream, Dustin Pangarelli did not score for the Cats. He only got a couple, like a minute of playing time. 
So I'll give Dustin Brown long shot short. Laflem, three pointer off, rebound. Jerkowitz gets it back. Laflem. 15 seconds left. Stratton back to Laflem. Nine seconds. Cats looking to just hold and dribble this out. And that will do your game. The final score, 62-27. The Cats push their record to 3-0 with a victory over the Stowe Raiders here at the Den tonight. Once again, we'll be back tomorrow night for the girls. The Lady Cats hosting for Jens. The boys will be hosting Oxbow on Thursday. This has been Lance Hall with the call for HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Danny on camera. Sponsors tonight, Buffalo Mountain Power Sports, 472-5522. We support Hazen Athletics and Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Till then, live every moment, love every day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.